a closer look at how three of the biggest scam coins lure its investors. Run-ups of the kind Bitcoin is having in price and valuation make fertile ground for scams. Scams are valuable and very teachable moments. Skin in the game. By having plunked hard-earned cash down to see a return on investment. Means vigilance and due diligence are musts. Got Paycoin CEO Josh Garza held liable for $9 million USD for wire fraud scams immediately offend. Morality scams. Taking advantage of people who trusted in a business in number 8217. Integrity. Are not okay. I will not for a second endorse such ways of doing business. However, fraudulence is both an art and a science. It is worthwhile for investors and those enthusiastic about Bitcoin to examine bad actors in our midst. We do well by understanding their techniques. We do better by publicizing them in hopes of preparing the next person who might come across such an offer. Charles Ponzi scams are not coins or projects you personally find abhorrent or objectionable. Though it might be true. These are sometimes necessary but never sufficient conditions to label something a scam. If that were the case, Bitcoin would already be dust. Want to guess how many times a day someone who works in the ecosystem reads or hears the word? And number 8220. Scam. And number 8221. Instead, the kind of efforts discussed here can be considered circumstantial as in maybe all the facts are not in yet. Important too. Perhaps some of the people involved were not privy to certain amounts of information and number 8212. It's often true in these matters the last ones to know are zealous believers. BitConnect graphic. BitConnect can there be a multi-billion dollar fraud. One listed and quantified right before our eyes. BitConnect is a pretty great example of yes. Yes, there can. In about a year's time it has become a coin investment platform to watch. But not for the reasons its elusive founders and maintainers might want. BitConnect reads almost immediately as if the great, great-grandchildren of Charles Ponzi have taken to the old Mons craft. Double-digit returns monthly. Guaranteed. What could possibly go wrong? The rather odd fact here is this might actually be possible for a short time. Again, prices are skyrocketing, saving BitConnect from sure immediate disaster. Maybe there is a trading bot they have concocted, one capable of sloshing through 2017's frothy coin market. Simply download their proprietary, risk-free software and watch the magic happen. At just above the 10. Oh, 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 USD investment mark. They'll credit investors with a 25% return in a four-month period. Adding a cool 9. Oh, 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 on top of the principal. Sign me up. Mysterious. The referral program is a classic pivot on which Ponzi works his wonders. Let's just say each gets a percentage of the newer investors and number 8217. Principal, which essentially bankrolls older returns in an otherwise sane market environment. Prices and mania are clouding this truism at the moment. BitConnect lives in that confusion. Such people who innocently got in early on a BitConnect scheme could be ginned up on crazy return schedules. A great many of them, I assume, have little to no investment experience. It is a perfect storm. One coin it are known and understood as one coin. I've yet to find anyone who believes it to be legitimate. And so I won't waste too much time deep diving. Parked in Dubai and Belize. About as far away geographically from one another as is humanly possible. It tends to fit well with our friend Ponzi. It bills itself as an education outfit. Promoting investment. For small to many tens of thousands of dollars. One coin offers token packages. Which can then be used to mine one coins. The packages are cut and pasted old hat investment advice. The company is sure to stress a dose and offer cryptocurrency so much as it does literature. Meetings often tend to ease over materials, however, and speakers urge cryptos. 
For a short time one coins were exchanged for euros in a private market. Packages purchased determined coin access. The market itself are artificially limited coins, making them appear scarce and more valuable. At random intervals, the market would be shut for maintenance, and once back online some orders and trades disappeared. Wallets and wire transfers later, early adopters might have walked away with profit. As of this writing, governments all over the world have pursued one coin. Sadly, it is precisely this type of fraud that governments use to inform odor decision-making on legitimate coin offerings and exchanges. Needless to point out, governments do not need more excuses to limit cryptocurrency's obvious threat to their banking systems. Bitpedit every recently. Bitpedit vanished. Gone too were its customers' cash. It guaranteed massive three-digit returns falling on percentages such as 147, seemingly always a tell, for some reason, promising 150% seemed gratuitous, but that crooked number at the end adds to legitimacy, I guess, the website flickered on and off for some time, and it's getting pretty grim for those who relied on the company, as its social media platforms have all gone too, the commonality here is grand promises, Fast returns. Guarantees. Learn from all three. Their lies. Exposed. Point to greater truths. Nothing of their promises exist in the real world. And the sooner we learn that lesson the better we will all be.